right guys, Zach here. Just wanted to give you a quick intro on this vid and a bit of a backstory. So, we had a 2016 red dual cab Hilux that it was, had a pretty good setup, pretty similar to this thing. And we set off to do a lap of Oz in 2020, but borders and stuff a bit chaotic. So we ended up doing two months in the NT, coming back to Queensland, ordering a new Lux, done three months, travel, come home, and then got into building this car. And it was pretty much whatever we could have changed on that, we changed on this just to suit us and what works better. And this was pretty much built, I feel like there's no perfect setup, but this was pretty close for what we wanted to do. And it worked. We built this in six months and we cruised off, set to do another lap, ended up doing four months in WA and then two months in South Australia. So we've definitely tested it and then, yeah, so, Throughout this build, I time lapsed the canopy and stuff coming together. I lost a bit of footage just because I'm amateur at all this, but you'll get the you'll get the gist of it. At the end, I'll give you a quick run through and just throw some iPhone clips and yeah, you'll get the picture. Anyway, thanks for watching. Cheers. on the canopy we've got all the floor and everything stitched in so that's all done and then this morning I just come and just did this rear panel bit and then there's gonna be another bar coming in here when the under tray drawer and shits on but that's that's probably the last thing we'll have to do and then I've made these extra long just because I don't know what angle and what not to cut them back i'm just going to wait till the toolboxes and shit are made but this thing's pretty much ready to drop down that way i can put the roof on and yeah start start welding everything up i've got the side panels here just got to bend them up and um yeah then we can start the water tank in the front and should be good
the canopy on the floor, ready to put the roof on. Let's roll her in, boys. What's that? What's that? You getting here? You getting here? Yeah, is that nice? Share up here. Yeah. You like it, Moose?
Okay, this thing's been fully welded. Stitched on the inside, fully welded the outside. She's all sealed. And um, now I think we're just gonna do the water tank. It'd just be easier to do it now while there's no doors on and shit. So, me and the old boy come up with this idea about a week or so ago. And a customer absolutely frothed it. But this is the water tank. <coughs> and this is all water in here. So we have taps both sides. <coughs> and then your battery and shit goes in here. And then your charger and all that is all hidden away up under there. Because that's not water. And then these are just spare panels that the customer wanted. But I'm out and sick. And yeah, this is more. It's coming together, slowly. Just got a single baffle. 108 litres of water. Frother. Just explain what's happening with our water tank. We've got it built into the canopy here. Filler, outlet, another outlet, which is super important to us that we have an outlet on both sides because we're always got dirty feet and when you're getting in it's fucking, you know, Always wash your feet when you get in the car or whatever. But we've made this. It's got two cutouts at the bottom of this plate here. So the water all carries through there. And this little fucking section is obviously for the battery charger mounted up under here. All nice and neat, hidden, out of the road. We've got a mesh fucking thing up here. Fit a heap of shit up in there. So yeah, the inside's pretty much done for now. And that's fucking pretty much it. I've got the strut mounts and all that on. I just don't have the struts. But she's fucking coming together. Absolutely for often.
lines made up here. Um, three each side. Got the box section on the outside of the drawer that will just roll between these bearings. Um, I've had mine on the Lux we got now and for about four years now and it still slides sweet and pretty much done every dirt road in the Northern Territory. And yeah, it's still sick, but drawer's done. Just finish this rear end off of the drawer when it's actually fitted to the canopy to suit the rear panel. But next stage for this is get it up onto a trolley so then we can start cutting the arse end out and we'll fit the draw mounts, we'll fit the draw, um, finish the rear end of the draw and then we can start the inside, I guess. Um, the pantry, the fridge. Might make some drawers up for the other side or, you know, whatever. Whatever we want to do there, but yeah, poking along. Got the hole for the spare wheel. Just beefed up this back section here. Make it a little bit stronger. That's all good to go. The drawers fitted. Everything's ready for paint pretty much. Number plate, plate on some hinges. Looking good. Just gotta do the ladder now. For the back here i'm keeping my gas bottle holder off the last canopy and just getting that wrapped to go on this side but yeah pretty much ready to start the inside fridge mount the fridge make up pantry it's all come together nearly done been a hectic bit of a fucking journey doing it after work so you work a nine hour day and then after that a couple hours in the afternoon um a few hours on the weekends but just lucky i started it when i did <laughs> otherwise it just drags out too long but it's coming together nearly done so stoked you we got the new ute probably four days ago and as soon as i picked it up i dropped it off at flops's at a plus detailing and because he had to go to brisbane so he but he said he could fit this in real quick so here it is new lux 2021 
it's just a white one, but as you know by now, it's not staying white. But, flops fit the new Iron Man lift, and the new ARB Frontier tank. So, pretty much double, pretty much doubles your, your original tank. But yeah, frothing, fitting the new exhaust now. But yeah, just flat out, gonna be busy as next few weeks, knocking it all out. I'm gonna pre-fit the canopy, the boxes, the front guards, pre-fit all that, and then probably do that in a couple days time. And then um, take it all back off, and then the canopy will get a, all sprayed, Raptor, and color coded doors. The car going back to flops, he's gonna cut the bumper for the bull bar, and then cut the holes for the snorkel, do all that, and then pull it apart and re spray it. So, pretty excited. Good morning, everyone. It is a, it's a sad day, and we're in here. Got the mounts on. We had to pre-fit this fucking thing. Wild bit of strap work going on here. I don't even know if I should be showing you that, but fuck it, it'll work. Um, I've had to move the ECU unit, make up a little plate, move it down a bit, because originally they stay here, but because I've got the under tray drawer, it'd be hitting on it. So I've had to move that, um, fuck with the fuel filler a little bit, but should work now. And um, yeah, about to lift him on, pre-fit everything, get every hole we need to get drilled, drill that, pretty much make it as if it's ready to fucking drive away and then take everything back off and then yeah, get everything painted, so. So we lifted it on, I fucking forgot to film it. And here she is mate, time to get to work. Put the ladder in here. This is off the old canopy, but I'm selling it and old mate don't want it, so I might as well use it for this next one. I'll just get it wrapped to match everything else. Woo! Oh shit, oh shit. <laughs> Come back out now, mate. Fuck yeah. Bloody eye. to get rafted, primed up. She's coming. Come over here. Just fit the rhino rack. All right, so that's all the footage I got. I lost some, but I'll give you a quick run through, explain some shit, and yeah, you will get the picture. So, here it is. This is a finished product of what you just would have been watching. 2021 white Hilux. Shout out to the boys at A Plus Detail and Flops. Fully gutted this thing, resprayed it, made it look like it come from the factory, this color. Done an absolute killer job. And 
yeah, just the usual bull bar, side rails, snorkel, aftermarket mirrors, you know, roof rack, max tracks, all that, mudders. If you want a full in detail rundown of this thing, how everything opens and shuts, let me know. I could do that, but I didn't want to drag this vid out any longer than it has to. Obviously, Bush Company gear, you know, worth every cent made our life easy especially if you're living out of it every day you need you know simple and easy pack up especially if you're on the move quick full kitchen side under tray boxes but yeah that's pretty much it so let me know what you reckon if you like the sandy you don't like the sandy love to hear everyone's opinion it's been 95 percent good but it is a year old we've definitely used it and yeah i still froth it every time i look at it but thanks for watching let us know cheers guys